Hey you guys, I'm Betty Viva. And I'm Gloria Altania. And we're the Pablum Partners. Mm-hmm. And you're watching 10 out of 10. That's right. And today's show is about reality TV villains. Ooh, what does that entail? <laughs> okay, so you know what? I wanted to do this show because I am a big reality TV fan. I love documentaries. I love um, biopics. Anything that's like based in real life or feels like real life, I'm a big fan of that. Okay, so okay. even like books, biographies, and everything like that. So on this countdown, we're gonna basically expose. No, nah, we're not exposing nobody. But we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna talk about people who have come on shows and they disrupted the dynamic, or they rocked the boat. Rest in peace, Aaliyah. You know, so people on this uh, top ten list or whatever, they're the most hated, the most liked. I don't know, girl. They're crazy. That's <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, whenever I watch uh, reality TV, I'm like, is this quote unquote scripted or is this real? Sometimes uh, they just argue so much for me that I'm just like, uh, you know what? I can't even watch this. Let me go back to my uh, scripted, real scripted TV shows. Oh, <laughs> I was going to ask you, are you really a fan of reality TV? Because the truth is, I think I introduce all that ratchet stuff into your life. Yeah, you did. You did. I mean, and sometimes it's fun to watch and it's interesting, especially when you're like in a group, but I'm not really into it like some people are. You know, I'd rather watch Grey's Anatomy or, you know, I'd rather watch a movie like Harry Potter or (laughs) Forrest Gump or something, you know, like. But you know what? See, reality TV is just misunderstood because if people even gave it a chance, they'll see that there's actually people in the world that exist and they act just like this. They're ratchet, they're messy, they're not so perfect, you know? It teaches you how to work with different people, um, what you can expect sometimes when you go in certain circles, you know? Mm-hmm. It's basically a human science experience, or, or social, social experiment, I would say. That's interesting. Um, I mean, well, I would say that watching reality TV shows, you do get some juicy episodes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, they provide you the ratchet, juicy, juicy. Huh, huh. Oh, you just said a key word because guess what? What? Our number 10 pick is very juicy. Let's get started. Shirlene Pearson, a.k.a. Miss Juicy Baby, is known for living out her life as a little person on Lifetime's popular reality show, Little Women Atlanta. But nothing about the self-proclaimed queen of Atlanta is small. The bigger-than-life radio personality has an attitude to match Queen Charlotte from Bridgerton and can be lethal with her clapbacks. Ever since the show first aired in 2016, Miss Juicy has made an unforgettable impression, making enemies out of the late many and coming out with the most entertaining catchphrases ever heard on reality television. Everybody that know me know that my tagline is Miss Juicy, baby. Okay. On the show, we know her for her antics that make us want to clutch our pearls. Who can forget the episode when Miss Juicy met up with Minnie to let her know that she was stalking her and trying to be her on some single black female ish? Or who could ever forget when she tried to say balsamic? Yeah, I think it's balsamic. Or had the little women wearing leprechaun outfits for a promo gig. But nothing can top the chicken tossing event heard around the world. Don't worry, Miss Juicy, you're not the only one this happened to. <laughs> Miss Juicy is definitely a handful on the show, but a much appreciated one that fans around the world continue to keep tabs on. Let me see if I can do that. Hold on. Did I do it? <laughs> Whatever she was chuckling about, I want to know because this seems funny. Well, you know, Miss Juicy, okay, so she's on the Real Housewives. I mean, not the Real Housewives, Little Women of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And outside of her reality TV show business, she's a radio personality. So you may have heard her with um, Portia Williams and was Dish 
Dish TV or Dish Dish Nation? Oh, Dish Nation, yeah. She, I, I don't think she's on there no more. It's one of those shows with the comedian. I forget his name, but he's Dish very smiling. Funny. Yes, yes. He's look at you, girl. You be paying attention. I ate breakfast today. <laughs> Tamar Braxton has entertained us for years as a member of sister singing group The Braxtons and as an award-winning solo artist. Hailing from Maryland, Tamar became a household name when she premiered her sassy and equally funny personality on WE TV's The Braxton Family Values in 2011. How funny was she? Well, she didn't want her husband to hire a fine nanny that works out and eats healthy. I want a nanny that eats hot dogs, hamburgers, and is the princess of shade as she stays in other people's business. The reality TV star is not a villain at heart, but let's just say she has villain ways. What's the formula? Well, she's a master at spilling tea, is quick to come back with a witty clapback, and doesn't mind disturbing the peace with her unpopular opinions. She's unfairly labeled as being difficult to deal with because of her mouth. Things would eventually unravel for the star when she would abruptly end her gig as a host on daytime talk show, The Real, in 2016, and her decade-long marriage to Vincent Herbert in 2019. She also went head-to-head -head with her own sisters, K. Michelle, and Jocelyn Hernandez of Love & Hip Hop fame while being involved in a back-and-forth dispute with Lenny Love of The Real. In real life, Tamar has released five studio albums, ventured into TV and film, open tours for Mary J. Blige, and Escape. One thing about Tamar is that she tells the truth. Two, 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 two. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got the mic in his mouth. Yeah, two. Ugh. But if you know anything about the real world, many people prefer a beautiful lie over an ugly truth. <laughs> You know what? The reason why Tamar Braxton is considered a villain is because she tells the truth and she's opinionated. In, in this world, I don't know why, but when you're a truth teller, people don't like you. They don't want to be around you. It is the craziest thing. So my advice to everyone out there, if you want to get up there and you want to schmooze with the good people, lie. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought she was going to say something different. <laughs> Uh, that is oh, she cracks me up though. She's really funny and she's actually a sweetheart and she's very talented. So when we say villain, we we use that lightly with Tamar Braxton. She's entertained us for years, you know, and um she she just has a mouth on her. That's the thing. Known for MTV's Making the Band to being a member of Danny DeCane, this American reality TV personality and singer-songwriter Aubrey O'Day is known to speak up and speak out about matters that don't sit right with her. In the third season of Making the Band, Aubrey and Diddy didn't agree on things like choreography and imaging, and Aubrey and cast members of DK started to drift apart. After the release of Danny DeCane's second album, Welcome to the Dollhouse, that released the smash hit Damage, the group had high tensions within it, and eventually O'Day and member D. Woods left the rest of the group, Andrea, Shannon, and Don. Aubrey O'Day has been in and out of the spotlight ever since, but recently you can catch her with a spot on The Encore. The Encore is a reality show that brings together talented vocals from former popular girl groups and they must come together to make an album to showcase for the public. The only problem is they can never get along long enough to complete a track. And Aubrey O'Day is the forefront of all the commotion. Yep, she's back at it giving opinions and trying to be the creative director, shall I say, over everyone. <laughs> you, you know, when did, he, when did he do this? He mean business. Okay. <laughs> what is it? What does he do? <laughs> now, uh, you remember watching Daddy D. King, the yeah. um, or making the band? Remember that was, when that was coming up, or, or when it was hot, or whatever? Yeah. And be right there, boy. She used to kind of get on my nerves, though, Aubrey. I it's like a I like her, but then she's kind of annoying because like she it kind of seems like she was like privileged, even though I don't know her life like that. So mm -hmm. she was just like, well, I'm gonna say what I want because I'm used to saying what I want. So I'm gonna just say what I want and how I feel. And sometimes you just be like, girl, be quiet. 
for a second. <laughs> Sit down. Are you the choreographer? Or is, or is uh, what was the choreographer? Oh, Lorianne. Is, is oh, she yeah. the choreographer? <laughs> mm-hmm. Who is? Okay, who's in charge? Who got the money? Not yeah, you. She knew everything, right? <laughs> she wanted to be everywhere for, in everybody's business. So. I know. Like, and you know, did you see the recent pictures that was released on her? I did see some of the okay, recent girl. pictures. They need to stop. I don't know who mad at her and everything, but clearly that is not her. Because we see her on Encore, even when she's thick, she didn't look like that lady. She didn't. Uh, she's she's still beautiful. She looks good. Um, I mean, the other lady looked good too, but she she don't look like that so I thought that was crazy I, you know I think somebody in the industry was like you know what I'm gonna get a real good I'm gonna tell everybody this her and it kind of confused us we were confused oh lord lord no they didn't 